Hello everyone, how are you guys? I uh, hope you are doing great. Uh, today we are going to learn that how to run and interpret the regression analysis in SPSS. Kaka Manzur is here, teacher, trainer and life coach. Uh, you can see my Facebook page, you can see YouTube channel link and uh, there are more than uh, 300 videos there uh, about uh, different subjects including SPSS, research, management, leadership and so on and so forth, right? You can explore it so hope you guys are ready um, so let's begin how we can run the regression now so here we have the data in SPSS okay so if you don't uh, know how to enter the data in SPSS so please do first watch our video uh, by the name of how to enter the data in SPSS right uh, by Kokab Manzur so you will find the video in YouTube right similarly uh, the next uh, video you should watch uh, is that is how to compute variables right so here you can see we have already computed variables so here we have two variables here CS and CL uh, let's suppose they are customer satisfaction and customer loyalty uh, whatever your variables are uh, you can then compute it right and if you don't know so you can watch that video and third uh, we have already have a video uh, that is how to run descriptives like mean, median, mode, many, minimum, maximum, standard deviation, etc. Bars and frequency distribution and charts. So we have already done with it. So if you have seen all these things or if you know all these things, so then you should watch this video. Otherwise, you, first you watch those videos and then you can come over here. Okay, now come to the point uh, how to run the regression. So here is analyze regression and then we have linear regression right now whatever your independent variable is or dependent variable is you simply put it here like for example our uh, customer loyalty is our um, dependent variable and customer satisfaction is our independent variable for example so you can choose your own variables right similarly if you have more than uh, one independent variable so you can even add it here like for example we, you can take age as independent variable or country as independent variable whatever right so here we say for the simplicity we just take one like the more the customer satisfaction is the more the customer will be loyal okay uh, statistics leave these things as it is because uh, at this stage we don't need like Durban Watson and these kind of things so we will not use it options it's 0 0.05 fair enough uh, probability normally it's 0 0.05 so it's okay so mostly the default settings will be okay you don't need to change it and then you press okay here you have uh, three tables uh, that is model summary ANOVA and coefficients right here we have the regression results as well now let's first copy this uh, in the word and we see that how to interpret it right so here simply you will paste it right uh, control V and you'll paste so let's make it little bigger so you can easily see uh, yeah right okay now the important value in this table for you is that 0.5 r square so what is r square r square simply means that the total variation in the dependent variable because of the independent variables right means how much is the contribution of independent variable or variables in the change or in the dependent variable so here we have only uh, one independent variable so we'll simply say uh, so you can name this table uh, for example here you can write table one or whatever your table is right and here you can say ANOVA uh, regression results or whatever you want to name it right so here you can say as indicated indicated in table number one we can see sorry the R square value is 0.524 which means that our independent variable independent variable that is uh, customer satisfaction whatever your independent variable is you will write it here right has 
four percent impact on the or you can say uh, which means that independent variable causes 52.4 percent change sorry what happens change in the dependent variable variable that is the customer loyalty right so this means that uh, the change in the dependent variable you can say 54 percent 52.4 percent change can be associated to the independent variable so the overall change that comes in like up to 100 percent the 52.4 percent change is associated to customer satisfaction so which means that customer satisfaction satisfaction causes 52.4 percent change in the dependent variable. so if there are two three four variables so you will mention all these things okay so then we'll copy the next table that is ANOVA here we can paste it right similarly you can format it uh, the way you want to like here you can have uh, this you see you can make it like this no borders as convenient to you or as your standard uh, university format allows you right so here we can write ANOVA table number two right ANOVA in table number two the table number two ANOVA ANOVA results shows that you see here we have significance level is less than 0 0.05 so we say that the relationship between independent and dependent variable will be significant why because uh, it is less than 0 0.05 so we say the ANOVA result shows that the p value is less than p value is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 hence we say that there is a significant relationship between customer satisfaction and customer loyalty or you can say between our independent variable our independent variable that is customer satisfaction and the dependent variable variable that is customer loyalty right so since the value is less than 0 0.05 so we can say that there is a significant relationship between independent variable me on and dependent variable right <clears throat> now we have the third table that is coefficient what are the coefficients so we'll simply copy it here and paste it so we'll write table number three so you can give the numbers as per your results right table three shows the coefficient my spellings are pretty weak I hope yours are good uh, shows the coefficient for results as indicated you see here we have this value in which we are mostly interested 0.725 right so this means as indicated the sorry as indicated that the beta value is 0.724 which means that the change in the dependent sorry change in the independent variable by one unit independent variable 
that is customer satisfaction by one unit will bring about the change in the dependent variable that is customer loyalty by 0.724 right <coughs> 0.724 units furthermore there the beta value is positive which indicates indicates the positive relationship between customer loyalty and customer satisfaction right or in other words or in other words we say that when customer satisfaction increases by one unit the customer loyalty will also increase by 0.724 units so this is how you can interpret it right so i hope you got the concept so whatever table you are getting so i just try to explain it interpret it as simple as possible so you can easily understand right so we have anova table mostly uh, when we're running the regression regression results and we are mostly interested in this value r square so r square simply means the total percentage change in the dependent variable because of independent variable right so forget about uh, adjusted r and all these things in the uh, so far uh, we will discuss in the later uh, videos as well so this is r square then you can discuss anova and you can also discuss coefficient so if you have more than one independent variable so you will here have a customer satisfaction and or a b c x y z others right and you will just interpret it simply or if you uh, can uh, open any research article where these kind of tables are given so you can use their um, interpretation as well we can also use this t value to interpret our results as well but i just try to make it as simple as uh, it is so you can easily understand it so i hope uh, the concept is clear now so there will be no more ambiguity uh, if there is any so you can even uh, comment in the video and i will try to reply to you so take care see you then right